Watch the refreeze this morning, okay? There are icy spots all across Connecticut. I'm uh, debating on whether or not to throw us in alert mode. I think I'm going to because there's just so many icy spots and underfoot and under tire. It's going to be very difficult uh, this morning. The main roads were okay. Secondary tertiary roads, entrance and exit ramps were uh, all sanded and salted. The DOT has been out there doing a great job. But it's those parking lots, those side roads, those, uh, again, those entrance and exit ramps are a little difficult this morning. So please be careful, okay? 443, let's take out our Doppler scans to stay dry. But it doesn't take into account the fog that we've got out there for you this morning. Regional radar not showing too much of anything. All right, so, so here's the visibility down to three miles at Brainerd, three miles in Willimantic, at a perfect 10 everywhere else. But don't be fooled in Waterbury. I was just noticing some fog in downtown Waterbury, so you're going to have to be careful out there as well as some of that fog is freezing on contact. So temperature trend today, you'll notice we're all below the freezing mark until about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's when the numbers start to rise. And we're going and rise nicely today into the mid 40s for the shoreline 36 degrees by 9 a.m. So that's a good looking number. But for right now, everybody's in the mid 20s, which is not good. That means there are going to be some icy spots. Mystic, you guys are looking pretty good at this point. There's not a lot of fog down there, which is exceptional. Uh, there's no precipitation coming down and the roads there don't look too icy. So that's some good news. But you know, you've got these temperatures at 22 in Willimantic, 24 in Putnam, 25 at Brainerd, 27 at Bradley all below the freezing mark Danbury at an even 20. That's pretty chilly. That's below average for this time of year. Typical overnight low is about 23. 33 in New Haven, so that's some better news there. But 27 in Bridgeport, there could even be some ice down in Bridgeport as well. We're basically flat from where we were 24 hours ago. The winds, they're uh, sustained anywhere from 3 to 5. Not a big deal this morning, and that fog is kind of hanging around. Satellite and radar confirms there's not a whole lot going on out here, nor is there. We will see increasing clouds, and then there's an opportunity later this afternoon for a brief rain or a snow shower to make its way into Connecticut. That's about anytime after 4 p.m. you might see a rain, sleet, or a snow shower. Then that will leave us, and then tomorrow morning, a more substantial batch of rain rolls into the state. So here's early morning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of that sleet, uh, maybe some snow, maybe a rain shower. This is around 5 p.m. Not a widespread spread event, but I need to throw that out there for good measure. Tonight is mostly cloudy, 9 o'clock tonight, midnight tonight, and then here comes some scattered showers around 2 a.m. in the morning. We will be dealing with scattered showers, and they only get heavier. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with a pretty good amount of rain coming down. Now, it is rain as the temperatures are going to be above the freezing mark. Then that quickly moves out by about 9, and we get back to the mostly sunny skies for Thursday. Thursday looks pretty good with temperatures warming into the low to mid 50s. Let's take a look at early morning future cast the wider perspective here. Again, there's that brief rain or snow shower around 5 p.m. And then 8 o'clock tonight, we're dealing with mostly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow morning, here comes that batch of rain. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That winds down. Thursday turns out to be mostly sunny. And then here comes Friday. Friday, we're off and running with a good start with mostly sunny skies. And then here come those clouds. And here is Friday night. What a mess. A little snow, some sleet, some freezing rain, and then it all transitions over to rain by very early Saturday morning. But that's Friday night. So if you have outdoor plans, uh, I know I have to go to an event on Friday night. Not looking too good, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, temperatures today top out. In the mid 40s, clouds are on the increase. We've got the frozen fog out there for you this morning. Afternoon showers today. Tomorrow, we start off with rain, partial sunshine in the afternoon. Friday, 40 degrees with snow arriving in the evening, changing over to sleet, freezing rain, and then plain rain by Saturday morning. And then Sunday, there could be some snow showers around, but not an impactful event. Monday and Tuesday, we start warming things up with partly to mostly sunny skies. So we get a little bit of a break Monday and Tuesday.